When a medical breakthrough occurs, it oftentimes serves as a ladder to future technological innovations. Without penicillin, for example, stronger antibiotics would never have been discovered. However, it seems like sometimes these groundbreaking technologies were never meant to be used indefinitely. Take antibiotics. While highly effective for decades, their overuse and misuse has led to decreased effectiveness as well as the emergence of antibiotic resistance. My name is Alexander and I'm one of the four co-founders of BackCheck. At BackCheck, we're working towards a future in which patients aren't just prescribed antibiotics and told to hope for the best, but instead are provided with safer and more effective healthcare alternatives. The rate of antibiotic resistant infections is increasing, leading to global issues in patient care. One type of antibiotic resistant bacteria responsible for around 115,000 infections in the US and Canada alone is methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or MRSA for short. It is most prevalent as a surgical site infection developing hours or days after a patient recovers from a surgery. MRSA is a type of staph infection that cannot effectively be treated with antibiotics, but unfortunately that is what treatments currently consist of. In the more serious cases, such treatments are ineffective leading to patient death. Over 11,000 people die from MRSA annually in Canada and the US alone. In less serious cases, cases, the patient is able to recover, but the infection has prolonged the recovery time by up to a factor of three. Furthermore, treating antibiotic-resistant infections with antibiotics is not a sustainable solution, as in the long run, it will only render more antibiotics ineffective and more bacteria resistant. There is a large market for backchip, both globally and domestically. In Canada and the US, with current MRSA treatments averaging around $600 per case, the market value of the industry is estimated at just under $70 million. Given how since every year over 11,000 MRSA patients die from a lack of treatment options, we consider it a high probability, low risk assessment that we'll be able to capture this market within our first year. This will give us a starting revenue of 6.9 million and will allow us to grow sustainably. The backcheck ointment will contain the gene editing software used to kill the bacteria. It will be prescribed to patients post-surgery in order to treat MRSA infections at their source. The best part is that the technology behind the backcheck ointment was not developed to treat MRSA exclusively. In fact, it can be modified to treat any bacterial infection, regardless of its antibiotic resistance. Compared to the currently utilized antibiotic approach, the backcheck ointment will be more effective, more efficient, and since bacteria cannot develop resistance to backcheck's proprietary CRISPR microbiome modulation, this makes it a sustainable treatment option for future generations. So, for our product development timeline, we have already completed the hit to lead process in finding an effective treatment mechanism. In our first year of development, we plan to develop a functioning prototype to provide a critical proof point. In the second year, we plan on partnering up with a cost-efficient contract research organization, such as Vantage BioTrials, for pre-clinical testing, and all the way until the end of phase two clinical testing. After our phase two clinical trials, we plan on partnering up with a large pharma company, such as 3M, a company we've already been in contact with and who shows great interest in our product. The median acquisition value of a small to medium drug company after phase two clinical trials is 248 million, which in our case would provide us with an 87% annualized return on investment. So who are we? Our marketing and investment team will consist of four individuals. As you know, my name is Burrow and I'll be serving as the Chief Informational Officer. The other members of our team are Alexander, who will be serving as the Chief Administrative Officer, Tommy, who will be serving as the Chief Technical Officer, and David, who will be serving as the Chief Compliance Officer. We also have a research team, which includes three lead researchers who develop the technology behind the back check ointment. The research team will also include PhD candidates who will be working under the lead of the researchers. The ask needed to achieve our first significant milestone of developing a prototype is $500,000. This is only a small fraction of the total product development, however it will show that we are effective in reaching significant milestones. Due to the nature of our product, our development costs will only be a fraction of a standard drug. Because of the great versatility of this product, we will be able to expand our product line to virtually any infection and even different treatment mechanisms after we address the surgical MRSA market.